What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm out here in the woods tonight. I had to get this thrown up in a hurry because all of a sudden the rain kicked in. Weather forecast was very spotty. So I was not exactly sure when the rain was gonna pick up, when it was gonna let off. This is not a permanent structure for the night. This is just sitting there so we keep uh, water off of the gear. I do have a plan. As always, it's open to interpretation. It may be modified, but before I get into any of that, I've got to take a little nap off of the old banana flask. Monkey shoulder, two videos in a row. Monkey, banana, man. This is the spot where I camped and had some freezing rain, didn't make it through the night. Sleeping pad bust. Anyway, I'm bound and determined to not let that happen again. I highly doubt it will because we're not going to even get down to freezing temperatures, so I have no excuse. I have to stay the night tonight. My clothes did get a little wet, but that's okay because I have extras and everything I'm wearing is super fast, quick dry. I'm going to go ahead and assess how much we can get done here. Take care of the things that need to be taken care of. First things first. The poncho has a pocket when you're wearing it on the front. I just found the doggone pocket billows I've been looking all over the place for. That'll come in handy. completely rotted up to here. So I'm gonna take it off at about there. Next thing I'm gonna do is take the thickest piece and put it down to where the tarp goes. That way when I cut it to length, I'll be cutting off the thinnest piece that can't support weight very well. Once I get this done on both sides, I'll kind of have the tarp framed out really nice. I'm gonna leave a little extra. So I have a little bit to play with here in case I want to adjust something or maybe leave like an overhang for a kind of a little porchy kind of area here. 
We'll see. Better safe than sorry.
Anybody who says they can accurately predict where the smoke from a campfire is going to go, I don't believe you. Mm. Oh man. For camp food, that is not bad. Mmm. Woo! That is good stuff. A little instant mac and cheese, a hot buffalo, tuna creations. Mm. Yeah, that is good. I don't think I gave a shout out in the last video. So I wanted to make sure I did that this time. There's a group of YouTubers. A lot of them are small and upcoming. And they have formed a group across many channels called the Stealth Camping Alliance. These guys are super, super fun to watch. It's all of these like fairly small YouTube channels one of them is Weed in the Bush. If you guys know who he is in, in uh, Canada up there, super, super fun channel to watch. Hidden Hammock, he's another one. Go check his channel out. But Stealth Camping Alliance, I'm gonna check and see if there's like a central place for me to uh, uh, link them in the description. But they're really, really fun. And what they do is they do like stealth camping challenges and then like they all do it. So they did like abandoned building, airport. All of these channels will do this this uh, these little challenges they're really really fun to see because like it's such a little community like all, all kind of doing it um, they have reached out to me and asked me to to participate or, or, or a couple of them have and, and even people in the comments have said stuff unfortunately like with the schedule I mean it, it it's really challenging for me to get two videos out a month just working a full-time job and and uh, uh, you know, life and everything, it, it's just tough. It, it, it's tough to get them out. So I, I'd love to be part of their, their group and their challenges, but um, you know, at this time I'm not able to do so. At some point, maybe I will take part. Go check them out. Tell them Sam Bananas sent you in their comments. I've been meaning to do this instant mac and cheese in the titanium skillet. I tried to do it in the hot tent camp and I just had all kinds of problems that time. You may not notice it this time, but I had a lot of problems today too. <laughs> but anyway, I did this uh, instant mac and cheese and threw the tuna creations in as a deliberate shout out to Kevin over there. You guys, you guys know I love Kevin and uh, we are working out a date for um, a follow-up adventure. So stay tuned to that. All right, so I'm gonna finish this up. And then I learned from watching Lone Wolf 902. You can take titanium cookware and stick it directly in the fire. And if you leave it in for 20, 30 minutes, it just has some soot on it and it's just super easy to just rinse it right off. His video inspired me to go out and buy, start buying titanium. I'm super stoked. Um, I've already tried it. I know it works, but I'll show you guys on that video. Let me finish this up. I appreciate everybody tuning in so far. Thank you so much. I'm gonna enjoy this fire. Maybe one more beer and I'm gonna hit the hay. Good night, everybody.
Good morning, everybody. Still a little tired. I did sleep pretty well. Very light drizzle on the tarp last night. It was very nice. And then there's just a chorus of birds chirping and singing this morning. Wanted to stay in bed, but I got to get up and I got to get to it. I got stuff to do today. Going to get this uh, Nature Valley bar. I was planning on doing a, a breakfast over the campfire this morning, doing coffee and everything, but I think I'm just going to get the heck uh, moving and get out of here. So take you with me as we go. Okay, that does it for me. I'm ready to hike out. I'm gonna leave the frame of this up and the next video or two, I'm gonna come back here and I will either replace that paracord with some jute twine, uh, which is fully biodegradable, or I'll just take the whole thing down. So we'll see. So anyway, I appreciate everybody coming with me. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye!